Good evening. My name is Jimmy Cochran, and as the first honorarian of the senior class, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Banks County High School Class of 2018 graduation ceremony. At this time, I would like to recognize the members of the Banks County Board of Education. I would like to introduce our Banks County Super Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Stan Davis, and Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Ann Hopkins. Mr. Wes Whitfield, Chairman of the Board of Education, Mr. Anthony Siebel, Vice Chairman, and members Mr. Wob Boswell, Ms. Atha Dalton, and Mr. Shane Roberts. I would also like to recognize the administration of the Banks County High School, Principal Dr. Jody Goodrow, and Assistant Principals Ms. Christine Bray and Mr. Mike Brown, as well as the entire BCHS faculty and staff. I would like to recognize our honored guests for the evening, the parents of the graduating class of 2018. To recognize each graduate's family, please stand when your graduate's name is called, and please remain standing until the entire row of graduates has been recognized. Again, I'd like to thank you all for being here tonight and for joining in the excitement of the Banks County High School's class of 20, 2018 commencement exercises. Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise and welcome the Banks County JRTC Color Guard for the presentation of the flag. Would everyone please join us in the Pledge of the Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm pretty nervous not right now. And not because we're graduating tonight, but because I've been tasked with a great responsibility to inspire you all. And I'm not much one for speaking, so I looked up a great multitude of articles on how to do this. And y'all said the same two things. Tell a story and stick to one message. And that means I'm gonna to have to talk about myself. And I'm not a fan of doing that. Now I don't know if most of you know this, but I'm a stubborn person. I won't get on social media. I've never dated. I wish the new Star Wars movies had never been made, and I despise today's so-called music. Now, I'm sure there's mul there are many reasons for my stubbornness, but I think the main reason is I'm afraid of change. With change, I just don't know how things will end up, or that the things I love will go away. But the thing is, this fear is irrational. Change is necessary, it's natural, and oftentimes, it's a great blessing. For those that you don't know, I'm a runner. I can't tell you exactly what it is I love about running, but I just do. But I would have never figured this out if I hadn't agreed to the change. For you see, I wasn't the most athletic kid. I'm still not. I still had some baby weight on me. And for a number of years, and I can't tell you why, I found participating in a sport embarrassing. So much so that I actually cried one time after one of my parents suggested joining a sports team. And I was and still am an awkward kid spending most of my time online on the on st online stores encyclopedia that is Wikipedia. But then something happened. A friend of mine, Seth Ledford, suggested that my brother Hunter and I try out for running. After some thought, I realized that this would not only keep me healthy, but it make me more of a team-oriented person. And I agreed and began running, sum running, summer running over the summer before my freshman year. My career as a runner has been a great blessing. I've sharpened my drive to work hard, made great memories, and made even greater friends. But had I not overcome my stubbornness, 
had I not conquered my fear of change, I would have missed out on so much. It is this fear we must all conquer, the fear of change. As Anakin Skywalker's mother Shamish said, you can't stop change any more than you could stop the suns from setting. But why am I telling you this? Well, to put it bluntly, while we may not be as bad as Anakin, who fell to the dark side, we are all stubborn in some way. We're all fe we all fear change, but we don't need to. We need to face that reality, especially considering the fact that we're facing the biggest change in our life so far, graduation. So we need to go out in the world and take charge. We need to give everything our all and our best. We need to prepare ourselves for the life ahead. We need to realize that no matter what life may throw at us, good or bad, we can overcome it. And most of all, we need to be excited about the opportunities before us. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce our class of 2018 salutatorian, Ms. Kimberly Molina. Good evening, class of 2018. I would first like to congratulate everybody for having made it to this day after four long years. Tonight is the night we will be receiving our diploma, and tomorrow we will be ready to take our next step into our education and careers, or Panama City Beach. But I mean, after that, <laughs> we will definitely be on our way to making our defining marks in whatever we choose to do. However, in order to understand what the future holds, we have to take a look at our past. We all experienced high school in different ways but we will all remember the small emotional moments, not the numbers. You will not remember how many games, meets, or matches you won a season, but you will remember what it felt like to rejoice with your team, family, and friends when you won a game, or the support they gave you when you lost a game. You will not remember what grades you made in high school, or you know the fact that the only B you ever made in high school was in driver's ed. Just kidding, I will forever remember that. <laughs> but I promise I am a much better driver now. No, you will remember what you learned in class and also what you learned in life, the lessons as you grew and chose which way to go in life. These little lessons will forever remain with you. You will not remember how many episodes of The Office you binge watched while you were supposed to be doing homework, but you will remember how much you regretted that, and even so, you will continue to do it in college. Jokes aside, there are a couple of experiences I would like to share with you guys that I believe will have a lasting impact on the rest of my life. One lesson that I learned in high school was to, be always, be, to always be proud of where you come from. And I mean this not only culturally, but also high school-wise. My junior year of high school, I dual enrolled at a college nearby. And I attended an event held for dual enrolled students and to get to know one another. While I was there, I did or said something that was probably not so smart, maybe a little on the dumb side. And the, one of the college advisors turns to me and asked me where I came from. And I told him Banks County. And he said, oh, that makes sense. I was livid. No, we do not have that many resources. And yes, we are a smaller school. But no, that does not make any of our students less capable of doing anything that we set our mind to. Wherever we end up going, we are going to catch them off guard because they are not ready for what is coming out of the class of 2018. In high school, I realized that I need to be proud of my heritage and I learned this from my parents. My mother is from Mexico and my father is from El Salvador. When we first moved to Banks County 13 years ago, we were told that we might not fit in and that we were even warned that we would be treated inconsistently. However, that was not true. Those people were wrong. My family fit in very well, even as we proudly flaunted our mariachi music, pupusas, and all the colors and festivities that came with it. And I think the reason that this was is because my family is made up of a lot of hard workers, and that is what this community embodies. That is what the class of 2018 represents. Growing up with the class of 2018, I have been able to learn a lot from my fellow peers. I encourage you all to set aside your differences and look to one another one last time. Learn how Allison Smith sets her mind to play any sport imaginable. 
That may be genetics, but still, she is a great role model to look up to. Ask Seth Ledford how he is able to run lap after lap, even as he tires. Sit and wonder at Fisher Armour's courage to sing so beautifully, or how effortlessly Gloria Jong draws her masterpieces. Notice how hard the Lions triplets work at Wee's every single weekend. See how much Jacob Clark Bates is dedicated to the military, or how passionately Erica McConnell writes. Embrace your culture and heritage like Xiomara Olivares and Sheila Trin. Condition your hair with whatever Clayton Dykehouse uses on his. <laughs> Guide your mind to be as friendly as Luz Perez and Oscar Reyes. Illuminate your smile on everyone as Lauren Collins and the Cochrans do. Grow to be as ambitious as Josie Ryder and Kenny Sanchez. Become as resilient as Logan Slayton and Casey Reynolds have proved to be. And that's only a few people mentioned. Everybody has offered something to the class of 2018 these past four years. Finally, I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who supported me along this journey. My teachers, my friends, soccer teammates and coworkers, and most importantly, my family who have wholeheartedly supported me from my easygoing freshman year to this past semester when I juggled college, two jobs, and soccer at the same time. Thank you to my siblings for being my fun homework distractors and stress relievers. And to my parents, muchas gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí y mis hermanos. Aunque no sepa todo lo que han sacrificado por nosotros, quiero que sepan que estoy muy agradecida y que todos mis esfuerzos han sido por ustedes. Espero que los haya puedo hecho muy orgullosos de mí. And with that, I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> now I would like to introduce our class of 2018 valedictorian, Ms. Josie Ryder. I'd like to start off by thanking everyone who has helped us get to where we are now. Family, friends, teachers, and mentors. Without them, we would not be graduating tonight. Graduation. It still doesn't feel real that we're done with high school. In the fall, we won't be coming back here. We will all be on our own paths. Some of us know exactly what we want to do, and others have no clue. And that's all right. A wise man once described what he calls an improvisation. He said, sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. I know a man who, when he was in high school, probably never would have guessed his current occupation. He barely made it through high school pre-cal, and now he's a math teacher with a master's degree. He found where he's going along the way, and we will too. I think another quote by Michael Scott, regional manager, is relevant to this stage in our lives. As he reflects on the uncertainty of, wh of what to do when a coworker of his is having a heart attack, he says, and I knew exactly what to do in the moment, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what I was doing. We are faced with that same uncertainty, though not necessarily with life or death consequences. Regardless, we will not be intimidated by the uncertainty. This class will do great things. We will be engineers, financial planners, doctors, axolotl researchers, radio station managers, and so much more. Just wait and see. Congratulations on finishing this part of the journey, class of 2018. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Rob Moffitt, Banks County High School counselor. I would like to introduce Dr. Jody Goodrow, principal, Banks County High School. He will be handing out diplomas, assisted by assistant principals, Ms. Christine Beck Bray, Mr. Mike Brown, Mr. Stan Davis, superintendent of schools. We'll be congratulating the class of 2018, along with Dr. Ann Hopkins, assistant superintendent, Ms. April Loggins, Banks County High School counselor, and the members of the Banks County Board of Education.
Now, with the first row of the class of 2018 graduates, please rise to receive your diplomas. Josie Claire Ryder, class of 2018 valedictorian, Banks County Chamber CVB Star Student Scholarship, Charles Black Construction Company Scholarship, 2018 Georgia Scholar, Kimberly Lidavina Molina Veronico, class of 2018 salutatorian, the Bernard Bellin Georgia Tech Scholarship, Jimmy Herschel Cochran, class of 2018 first honorarium, Banks County Board of Education Scholarship, Charles Black Construction Company Scholarship, Thomas Kelly Wilson Memorial Scholarship, Alex Patrick Adamson, <laughs> Maria Lodez Alcaraz, Banks County Chamber CVB Technical Scholarship, Susan Stover Memorial Page Scholarship, Jesus Alfado Aldaco, <laughs> Carlos Domingo Amaya, <laughs> Nizea Bryce Anderson, honor graduate. Kyle William Angel. Abigail Deanne Armstead, honor graduate. Fisher Eli Armour, honor graduate. DAR Good Citizen, 13 years perfect attendance. Ronnie Michael J. Arrowwood. Dylan Curtis Aswedge, honor graduate. Young Harris Honors Program Scholarship. Kristen Nicole Atwood, Nolan Ray Avila, Abigail Ann Bailey, Brunel University Academic Scholarship, signed with Brunel University for softball, Alexis Elizabeth Bailey, signed with Middle Georgia College for cross country, Jaden Allen Bailey, Casey Daniel Baker, honor graduate, Piedmont College Academic Scholarship, Levi Hunter Bassett, Kadeja Chantel Beasley, Caitlin Sherry Behe, Aunt American Red Cross High School Scholarship, Lilia Fernanda Benavidez, Brandon Daniel Bowling, Ashton Bray Memorial Scholarship, Darius Jamad Bonds, signed with Bob Jones University for basketball, Sergio Ishmael Benia, Jacob Alexander Bowen, Brittany Alexis Boyer, Ashlyn Claire Brady, honor graduate, Coralie Nicole Bray, Brandon Lee Brown, Noah Seth Brown, honor graduate, Cassidy Alexis Burkett, Daniela Yvonne Campbell, honor graduate, Madison Arissa Campbell, honor graduate, Piedmont College Academic Scholarship. Katie Lee Cape, honor graduate, Banks County Board of Education Scholarship, Piedmont College Academic Scholarship. Maurice Deshawn Carruth, Raekwon Talik Carter, Gazelle Castillo Moraz, Hannah Grace Cardell, honor graduate. American Red Cross High School Scholarship, Lee University Dean Scholarship, Woodman in the World Scholarship, Kendall Grace Chambers, Lauren Elizabeth Chambers, honor graduate, Banks County Board of Education Scholarship, Destiny Sierra Cheeks, Alexandra Renee Clark, Caleb Gregory Clark, honor graduate, Jacob Lane Clark Bates, honor graduate. Army ROTC scholarship, enlisted in the Georgia National Guard. Hunter Dale Cochran, honor graduate. Banks County Board of Education scholarship, Charles Black Construction Company scholarship, Ease Faulkner Wilson Memorial scholarship. John David Cochran. And Alicia Darlene Coker, Banks County Board of Education scholarship. Brunel University Academic Scholarship. Autumn Elise Coley. Lauren Alexandra Collins, honor graduate. Banks County Board of Education Scholarship. 
Pearl Wilson Memorial Scholarship, University of North Georgia Academic Scholarship, Caitlin Ann Couch, Honor Graduate, the Clayton Martin Foundation Scholarship, Jacob Samuel Crosby, Tyler Douglas Crowder, Demetrius J. Crump, Kenneth McKenzie Dacus, Honor Graduate, Emanuel College Pinnacle Scholarship, Emanuel College Archery Scholarship, Cade K.L. Davidson, enlisted in the Georgia National Guard, Taylor Renee Dickinson, Ryan Cole Dove, Banks County Board of Education Scholarship, signed with Brevard College for Football, Gerard Dwayne Duckworth, Alan Dermick, Alan Dermick, Clayton Hunter Rodriguez Dykhouse, Kristen May Patrice Elliott, Jamie McKinley Ellis, Paul Nathaniel Elrod, Jose Antonio Enriquez, Cassidy Blue Evans, honor graduate. Jeffrey Philip Evans, honor graduate. Rufus Johnson Evans. Robert Bryce Farley. Anna Ellen Farmer, Piedmont College Scholarship. Emma Elizabeth Fuller. Caitlin Danielle Ferguson, honor graduate. Jacob Adam Gable, honor graduate. Madison Lake Gailey, honor graduate. Melinda Joe Lauren Garrison, honor graduate. Sean Smith Memorial Scholarship. Anaya Juana Garza. Seth Anthony Gaducci, enlisted in the United States Marines. Jesse Lee Glenn, Christopher Jacob Glines, Julio Cesar Gonzalez Brito, Pedro Gonzalez Valasquez, honor graduate, Clayton Luke Gosnell, honor graduate, Jaylen Noel Leah Gosnell. Joel Alexander Clyde Grizzle. Joseph Tyler Groover, enlisted in the United States Marines. Andrew Joshua, Joshua Hall. Alexis Dawn Angel Harris, honor graduate. Jackson Joseph Henley, Hensley, honor graduate. 12 years perfect attendance. Charles Black, Construction Company Scholarship. Jennifer Guzman Hernandez, John Dillon Patrick Hill, Nathaniel Cade Hobbs, Jacob Daniel Hoyle, Ian Zach Hubbard, Ansley Emery May Hughes, Eduardo Daniel Wezar. Jennifer Liliana Wezar, Mariela Hatato, Hannah Marie Gerard, Gloria Hey Yong Yong, honor graduate, Gracie Lee Johnson, honor graduate, Christian Scott Jones, Paxton Gail Jones, honor graduate, Piedmont College Scholarship. Bradley Keith Michael Keith, Renee Fawn King, Madison Hope Geikendahl, Alexis Faith Langston, honor graduate, Mended Heart Scholarship, Kenneth Allen Lawrence, enlisted in the Georgia National Guard, Seth Anthony Ledford, honor graduate, Signed with Truett McConnell University for cross country. Skyler Jean Ledford, honor graduate. Blaine Alexander Leslie. 
Dylan Wade Lovell. Aaron Gatlin Lunsford. Amelia Marie Lyons, honor graduate. Kaylee Eileen Lyons, honor graduate. Morgan Nicole Lyons. Alexis Rubian Mayer. Caitlin Paige Marlowe, honor graduate. Eugene Talmadge Martin III. Signed with Reinhardt University for football. Gabriel Simeon Martin, honor graduate. Alex Lewis Memorial Scholarship. Young Heritage College Academic Scholarship. Make Kids Count Scholarship. George Alex Mason, honor graduate. Zariah Aileen Maziago Lopez. Chastity Marie McClure. Erica Lee McConnell. Colby Robert McGehee. Austin Blaze Minish. Brianna Marie Mobley, honor graduate. Mitchell Artagan Moore. Adrian Herbert Lee Morgan. Emily Nicole Morris, honor graduate. James Avery Morrison, honor graduate. Alex Taylor Moss. Jasper Dylan Moat. David James Nevels. Emily Grace Nicholson. Kevin Brian Norris. William Hunter O'Kelly. Zamara Olivares Tamarez. Dylan Lee Orr, signed with the University of North Georgia for basketball. Nicholas Riley Ott, Allen Ott, honor graduate, Banks County Board of Education Scholarship. Marshall Aaron Pace, Cody Gatter Memorial Scholarship. Cameron Hope Parks, honor graduate. Trisha Michelle Parson, honor graduate. Luz Maria Perez Cristobal, honor graduate. Pedro Perez Cristobal. Ashlyn Carter Placic, honor graduate. Genesis Leanne Blanco, honor graduate. Aniela Gardini, Gardinia Ramirez. Bailey Munson Redden, Piedmont College Scholarship. William. Ryan Redding, Peggy Leanne Reams, Oscar Eduardo Reyes, honor graduate, Kenneth Charles Reynolds, Tristan Tyler Riddle, Samuel Patrick Riley. Sierra Daniela Roberts, Suzanne Stover Memorial Page Scholarship, Jared Carl Roger Roberts, Bailey Dwayne Rogers, Madison Lee Rogers, honor graduate, Blanche L. Green Memorial Scholarship, Woodman of the World Scholarship, Grant Harrison Riley, honor graduate. Banks County Board of Education Scholarship, the Jacob Bullock Scholarship, signed with South Georgia State College for Baseball. Kenneth Larry Sanchez, honor graduate. Max Julian Sanders III. Breeley Lynn Satterfield, honor graduate, Brunel University Scholarship. Caleb Alexander Savage. Cody Logan Saxon, Banks County Board of Education Scholarship. Blake Adam Seegers, honor graduate. Bryson Reed Sellers, Andre Serrano. Lauren McKenzie Shedd, honor graduate. Meadows Surgical Arts Scholarship. Cody Gowder, Memorial Scholarship. 
Banks County Edu Board of Education Scholarship, Guinan Jean Wilson Memorial Scholarship, ben Mended Heart Scholarship. Jennifer Michelle Shepard, Banks County American Legion Auxiliary Unit 215 Scholarship, Banks County Cattlemen Association Scholarship. Parker Lee Sheridan, Banks County Community Resource Association Scholarship. Tyler James Sheridan, Banks County Community Resource Association Scholarship. Crystal Michaela Shriver, James Nathaniel Shook. Oh, he's walking. Lauren Myra Schubert, honor graduate. You're the reason scholarship. Alexandra Dawn Simpson. Maya Lynn Simpson, honor graduate. Emily Dawn Sims. Logan Connor Slayton, honor graduate. Allison Lee Smith, honor graduate. Signed with Emanuel College for basketball. Keaton Alexander Spears. Parker Blake Sprayberry. Madison Ann Standridge, honor graduate. Brandon Charles Stevens, enlisted in the United States Army. Nicholas Warren Stout. Leanne Marie Strickland. Lindsay Morgan Suggs, honor graduate. Banks County American Legion Scholarship. Banks County Board of Education Scholarship. Charles Black Construction Company Scholarship. Cynthia Nichelle Summers. <laughs> Stephanie Michelle Summers, enlisted in the Georgia National Guard. Timothy Dalton Lee Swain. Marissa Nicole Tash, honor graduate. Amber Dawn Tatum, <clears throat> the Clayton Martin Foundation Scholarship, Piedmont College Scholarship. Caitlin Marie Templeton, Clayton James Tench, Christopher James Thomas, the honor graduate. Signed with Emanuel College for baseball. Trevor Jonathan Thomas, honor graduate. Banks County Board of Education Scholarship, Charles Black Construction Company Scholarship, Georgia EMC Walter Harrison Scholarship, Jean Higginbotham Memorial Scholarship, Yuritza Torres. <laughs> honor graduate. Laura Ashton Trammell Gray, honor graduate. Sheila Ann Tran, honor graduate. Hannah, Hannah Nicole Turpin. Rochelle Ariel Vehi, honor graduate. Ryan Wayne Waters. Coleman Earl Wellborn. Caitlin Marie Westmoreland. Haley May Whitcomb. <laughs> Megan Deanne Wilbanks, honor graduate. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine Elizabeth Wilhelm, honor graduate. <laughs> Piedmont College Scholarship. Casey James Willis. <laughs> Taylor Blake Wilson. Brady William Winter. Lane Bailey Wood, enlisted in the United States Navy. Brooke Morgan Woodall. Ethan Charles Woodall. Angelina Yang, honor graduate. Now for our alma mater. 
Now for our album order, I'd like to introduce the Banks County High School Band under the direction of Mr. John Congdon. Please stand as you are able for the singing of the alma mater that is found on the back of the program. Let us sing. In the midst of mountain splendor, our bright colors fly. Now the dearest school in Georgia, our Banks County High. <clears throat> Hail, dear high school, thee we honor, true and loyal be to our own fair alma mater, be C hell to thee. Go BC. You may be seated. And now for the turning of the tassels, once again, please welcome the first honorarium, Mr. Jimmy Cochran. Fellow students, family, friends, and esteemed guests, it is my pleasure to lead my classmates in the turning of the tassel. The rite of passage to adulthood is steeped in tradition and symbolism. The graduation ceremony is a cultural tradition that is considered a rite of passage. The ceremony marks a transition from one stage in a student's life to another. It does not matter if you're a high school senior or a college grad, the cap and gown represent achievement and pride. The turning of the tassel is symbolic of graduation. It is a simple and clearly visible indicator of whether a student has been awarded his, his degree. Upon graduation, the tassels are turned to the left. At this time, it is my pleasure to lead the class of 2018 in the turning of the tassels. Class, turn your tassels. I would like to introduce Dr. Jody Goodrow, principal of Banks County High School for the certification of the Banks County High School class of 2018. Well, the Banks County High School graduating class of 2018, please stand. With the power invested in me by the State of Georgia and the Banks County Board of Education, I hereby declare you to be graduates of Banks County High School Class of 2018 and eligible for all the rights pertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me in congratulating the Banks County High School Class of 2018. Hey, graduates, just remember that your diplomas will be in the cafeteria, so parents, please join us in congratulating our class of 2018 graduates. 